Welcome back. This is Shadow Coast with Shadow Coast Gaming, and we are playing Battlestar Galactica Deadlock. We have both DLCs, the Reinforcement Pack, as well as the Broken Alliance, so we will be use using the ships associated with those DLCs, as well as the campaign missions included in the Broken Alliance. So we are now on Chapter 3. This episode, we will be playing Chapter 3 and 4. Those are the last two tutorial missions as we Colonial learn. Colonial Fleet relies heavily on the Idris network. It provides access to accurate real-time locations and trajectory data of interstellar objects. The network is vital to our jump calculations. Without Idris, we can't tell if there's going to be a planet-sized inconvenience at the end of an FTL jump. We believe the Cylons are behind the interference at the Idris network and using the civilians at Caprica Terminal as a human shield. Caprica has granted us operational access to the terminal surrounds. Galactica is still MIA, so there will be no Battlestar to save the day if the Cylons do show up. To recap, we have to destroy every Cylon transmitter we find, restore the Idris relay, and jump back to Ragnar, all without causing a single civilian scratch. Just another day at the office, right, Commander? So there we have it now in missions you do have rewards so here we have plus 460 tillium that is used to build ships and plus 350 requisition points that is used to unlock research we also if successful unlock the adamant blueprint so it will cost requisition points to do that we can also use requisition points to promote officers which we will see here uh, in a little bit all right, so we want to jump to Caprica. Now, FTL recharge costs increase with the number and size of a fleet's units and decrease the more time a fleet is given to spool their drives. So that will be important because if we have a large fleet, it will cost a lot of Tilium to jump. It costs Tilium to spool the FTL drives of all units in a fleet group. All right, so in this case, we have three ships now, so it's 100 Tillium to jump, and we will. You can see the Cylons are making moves. Now, chapters three and four are part of the tutorial. We are now playing chapter three, transmissions. During the FTL insertion phase, click on a unit or squadron to change its loadout. So the way that works here, I'll show you is um, we can actually change. Now we have squadrons and we only have either the Raptor squadron or the Viper squadron. So we're gonna deploy a Raptor so you can see it. And then here we can go guided missiles or proximity mines. I prefer guided missiles. There's more range. Proximity mines I, um, I haven't used yet but maybe we will we will see they might be helpful if we're trying to defend something or they're trying to run someone down so we are going to go ahead and deploy the only reason i moved fleet our group is jumping in three two one the only reason i moved the daedalus up a little bit here is because Sir, i wanted Caprica to play Terminal those has been squadrons down and local forces are en route to our position readings indicate there's definitely a bogus transmitter in the area Civilian lives are of value. Their property is not. Find and destroy any relay hijacked by the Cylons. You heard it, Commander. Go blow up somebody's satellite. All right, we are going to blow up some satellites. We will turn so say we all. to take this one. Now, since it's an objective, we do have to issue a command. So we want to focus fire that one down. Now best practice, always launch your squadrons. Yes, you want them out, ready to go, and moving with your ships. If you wait until you enter battle, it'll take a turn, possibly two, to get there. Now what's nice here is that they actually gave us two adamants. Yes, sir. This is the, yes, sir. the ship that we're going to try to unlock and start building. Adamants are fairly versatile. You can see here they have missiles. They also have a Viper Squadron at base. We can actually swap that Viper Squadron out for Raptors. Raptors, which we'll see are slightly heavier units. Um, fighters, they do carry a salvo of yes, rockets. Sir. 
and let's see if any Cylons show up we can kind of showcase that so I'm kind of turning these guys around We'll change their elevation. We don't want them to hit each other. This guy will go a little lower. There's a satellite here, a satellite there. We can actually see a few satellite images here. And let's end the turn and see what we did. Alright, so. Here we are firing, and boom. The satellite is destroyed. We can leave Helios Alpha, correct? Not quite yet, Admiral. Idris data is still compromised. I've got another candidate for the source of the interference, however. All right, not that satellite. So maybe it's another one. We're going to keep these units relatively together. On it, Commander. We are going to change elevation here a little bit all right so these adamants are actually close to this other one now like i mentioned if you click on spacebar and then click turrets you can see the firing arcs so as we zoom in we can see the turrets are up here up on kind of top so for too high i don't think that they can fire and obviously we have to be turned so we are going to, with that understanding, a focus fire this thing and we're going to turn so we can do that. We're going to turn so we're going to turn to face we're going to turn to face. Now we're changing the elevation a little bit here. Um, again to give some separation so if and when we fire missiles we don't have to worry about it so they're turning and I thought they were in the firing arc to focus maybe not it does have it let's see the turrets oh just out of range so we're gonna come a little closer. So say we all. And now see what happens. There we go. Took it out. And now we have two more pop up. Interesting. Now, nope. We have some. Sir, four. new Dreadus contacts. Terminal broadcast isn't expecting any arrivals, so we have to assume the jumpers are hostile. Interference is still in place, and it seems to be getting stronger. Commander, I have identified two more satellites showing potential interference. Alright, this got a lot more interesting. Now, if you didn't notice there, our manticores kept moving forward a little bit. So, that's important it, to Commander. note. Understood. Understood. Yes, Commander. Um, their units will move on their own progressively. Now we do have a Raptor, and with the Raptor, it actually has abilities. So you can board boost firewalls, so that helps us stop hacking a disarm, I believe, mines. There aren't any right now. It also has rockets. So let's fire rockets Missiles at that on guy. Their way. Another thing we can do is we can assign squadrons. Um, this guy, we're just going to select a target. Let's focus yes, on that guy. These two, we will assign a squadron, blue squadron. When we assign them a squadron, all we have to do is issue one of them a command. So let's take the nearest one out. And what will happen is you see. Um, he, that one's targeted. What we can see here is that one's also targeted. It has a little red reticule over it. So that makes it easier. The adamants, we're going to turn. And we're going to focus fire that satellite. 
turn. Focus fire that satellite. Fortunately, we don't see the enemy yet. Understood. We're gonna limit our movement because we want to send missiles and take one out as quickly as possible. So we took that satellite out. Will that be enough for us to jump? I guess we want to defend the Caprica terminal. We don't want to leave them hanging. So we are going to continue to move towards the enemy. We have different yes, elevations. Sir. Make sure our missiles don't hit each other. And these guys. Yes, sir. Will hopefully reveal the enemy. So we see the enemy. And we've started firing on the enemy. Fighter squadron is taking fire. And here's something that's interesting. Sign group one, and we want you to fight the enemy. Now these guys, we're gonna redeploy them. Where is it? To attack those guys. And sending them there. Now one advantage of being on the same plane is that when you fire your missiles So say we all. So say we all. They're gonna hit the same angle. So if we're trying to focus yes, fire this guy down, which is exactly what we're we would like to do. And we're gonna focus him. Yes, sir. Focus him. you want your missiles to hit so we're actually going to cancel those missiles and spread the love a little bit don't forget our raptor I thought he had fired his rockets now let's use abil ability let's try to board an enemy let's board that enemy back there see what it is and we set up our adamants to keep moving towards this guy hostile unit identified so he is hacking us now hostile unit identified and we've successfully taken them out now the right side and bottom is damaged on this guy so we are going to go Yes, sir. Here and move to try to get the left side, which has 29. We are also going to increase his defense. This guy, who has not been hit yet, we are going to focus on this nemesis. Focus on the nemesis. This guy's have been hit, so they're, they're focusing firing that guy, and we've taken that one out. All right, here we have a fighter battle going on, but we also see this guy's kind of coming in. Yes, Commander. So let us focus fire on him and launch our missiles. More missiles. We have 2v1 there, I'm more concerned with the 3v... There's a 3v2 here now. And this guy's taking a lot of damage, so we're shifting to our left and top. And we are trying to... we're pounding that nemesis. And we're going to continue to keep the defensive up. Understood. These two have not yes, been targeted. Sir. And let's see. 
Understood. I don't think they really hit either of these. Alright, they are in the out, outer part of our... Um, of our turrets. Alright, so let's just see how this one goes. His right side has taken a beating. He continues to do so, so he's targeting this top guy. So I think we were justified in moving. And what we're going to do here is continue the broadside yes, from this side. Alright, let's see how our manticores are doing. Okay. So it doesn't behoove us to try to ram him. I think that... Our raptors are boarding him, which are fantastic. Uh, Understood. Now, of this one has damage, no dam limited damage. So say we all. No. One turn for missiles, and what's the turn for missiles? Two turns for missiles. Alright, so his right side is damaged. We are continuing to pound his right side. You always want to pursue, once you, once you get a side down with armor, you always want to continue to hit it. Alright, so here... Presenting that side. Understood. Now, who are you targeting? The Talon? Why don't one Squadron of you target is confirmed. Just go get that guy. We got that guy in the bag. This guy, however, he has. Yes, Commander. Missiles on their way. He is boarded, so we are trying to on screw it, up his subsystems. Missiles on their way. And I hope here is... We can punch through his back. So... Okay, good. Manticore is taking damage. Daedalus is taking damage. So left side is damage, right side. So top. So we're going to try to go under him. Now if we look at his guns. Where are his guns? They look to be, they have some on the top. They have some on the side. I don't think they have any underneath. I can't tell. I can't get a good angle. So we will find out. Yes, Commander. And then how are these guys doing? We are continuing to pound. Yes, sir. This guy. Yeah, we like those explosions. Our top is damaged. So, here, because of that... On it, Commander. We're gonna increase our defense. Because our bottom has 45. And... Yeah, there we go. Now you see here, if I didn't check these guys, they would collide and most likely blow up. Yes, Commander. Which is not great. We never want that. On it, Commander. 
So we're gonna wear down his rear. No joy, sir. Navigation data is still compromised. They must have control of the entire Idris system by now. Oof. Not to mention we've destroyed more Capricorn infrastructure in the last few minutes than the entire Cylon fleet could on a good day. We've wasted enough time. Commander, remove the Cylon threat from Caprica Terminal before any more lives are put at risk. All right, so... These guys are targeting him. These guys are targeting him, so that's good. How is this looking? All right, so... He's trying to move away. Missile tubes prepped. We do have missiles. We yes, might have commander. been able to use them a turn early, to be honest. And you guys have one turn left, so. Yes, commander. Understood. His left side is almost dead. Now he's presenting his back side. Now you can see that a lot of it, Adamant a lot of our damage. fires is missing, and that's because we are not at a good range. They're at the... He's on the outskirts of our range, so our accuracy is greatly diminished. So that's yes, important sir. to understand. And now... Understood. You can see how he likes... face full of missiles. This guy, so our adamant here, the top is damaged, the front Yes, sir. Yeah, they should be in firing range. Okay. Here we go, let's hop back to our manticores. I think that should do it. Look at that. Beautiful sight. Dead talent. Capricorn and Corm representatives are on the line. They want to know about Colonial Fleet's involvement at Caprica Terminal. Divert the calls to my office, Lieutenant. And get us out of Helios Alpha, Commander, before I am forced to ground the Daedalus for good. Alright, so we will watch the replay here, but real quick, the Adaman had a kill. And each one of ours. So if you look at these accuracy points, um could be a little bit better. Again, that's about positioning and utilizing the weapon range, which is important to understand. So we did a good job. We did deploy our fighters. Blew up some satellites, unfortunately. And... Blew up another satellite. Then things got a little more interesting. Viper view, so they came in with two nemesis. Nemesi. And two talons. So, we quickly made short sure work of one, then we began to focus, so these guys were fighting the Cylon fleet, or fighters, and all our ships were fighting the Cylon fleet. Here we took out that right side of that Talon and continued to pound it with the two Adamants. Now Adamants are fairly versatile, they have you know, a Viper squad, they have some missiles, but they don't do that much damage. They're turrets. Um, 
So that's where the reinforcement pack, it did come up with the Berserk, which is a lot lighter armor, but does a lot more damage. So we'll see that here in a, in a few minutes, once we are able to start building ships. Alright, so that other talent took a little while to track down. Right, three manticores eventually got him. Those were the vipers that we sent at the satellite. And this talon. Trying to run away. Now one thing about the adamants, they do have a fair amount of armor. And we'll, we'll look at the ship builds as they progress and pop up and unlocked. We'll review them in detail. I think we'll be reviewing the atom in here shortly. And look at those missiles running it down. There we go. So let's proceed to chapter four. Commander. Before we go venturing into the cold unknown, might I suggest we update our fleet a little? Yes, you may. So I you've can unlock all the plans you want, but you will still need the cooperation of the colonies to turn raw materials and blueprints into a living, breathing crew aboard an operational ship. Luckily for you, Lucinda Kane is persuasive. Her recent display of force has provided us the requisitioning power needed for my adamant class frigates. We may as well be well defended, whatever it is you're dragging us into. <laughs> Alright, so there are two, four, six capital ships. The first one we unlock here is the Adamant. Now, there might be actually more. I don't know how the DLCs are factored in here yet. So we have 500 requisition points, we have 625. Blueprints cost requisition points to unlock, which are earned by completing missions. Additional blueprints will become available to unlock as you complete missions. So the Adamant Frigate, let's take a look here. So first, designed by Sin and Quaid a decade before the start of the Cylon War, the Adamant Carrier and Cruiser combo has become the cornerstone of many colonial fleet groups. What it lacks in speed and makes up with con its constant presence and firepower on the battlefield. So at 750 fleet points, we will have a fleet point cap, which will be important. It costs 180 tillium. It takes three turns to build. It has a 5,000 meter radius range. I think that's pretty standard. FTL cooldown four turns. That's good to know. Speed 128 meters per second. Turn rate 60 degrees. Size class three. Um, we'll have to look at other ones for reference. Munition reload rate for turns, so it takes four turns for it to reload missiles. Its broadsides are light turrets. Advantage penalty, yawn control, advantage none. So it can't turn as quickly as we would like. Now what's interesting here, it comes stock with Viper, MK1s, some Mark 1s, and guided missiles. And if you look here, these are fantastic. Rear, left, right, and top armor um, make it great. If we're positioning our left and right as we have our broadsides, we have some decent armor to take damage there. Overall, it's a fairly good, uh, decent ship, and we will be utilizing it heavily. Adamant frigates are now available to build from the Daedalus shipyards. So, note the Adamant has higher fleet point value. Once it is built, you may need to reconfigure your fleet to accommodate it. Alright, so we're going to build one of these. We're also going to build the Berserker Carrier. Now the Berserk class carrier is a fast and effective force multiplier. The carrier is not designed to survive prolonged engagements by itself. However, when supporting a battle star or strike group, it can provide powerful complementary firepower and squadron support. So you can see here it has horrible armor. It will get eaten alive. Here we have a hull 80, good armor. Here hull 70, crappy armor. It takes three turns to build. Um, we're going to build one so we can see it in battle. Now, the one thing I'd like to see is... I don't know if we can see more stats. The point cap of every fleet is displayed in the fleet tab on the strategy index. So here we can see we have 1,500 out of 4,000. 
those are zeros after it. The silent presence will continue to grow here in Helios Aphid. It is your decision on how best to protect Daedalus and grow colonial fruit. Without accurate data from Idris, we're stuck relying on these old onboard computers to calculate our FTL jumps. Luckily, I think I've found us an out. There's an abandoned colony halfway between Alpha and Gamma that isn't registering much activity. It should be a relatively safe jump. As long as we're careful with our data, we can take the data list from there to Gamma and back home to Ragnar. Hopefully without collecting any moons along the way. Alright, this is the next mission. I believe this is the fourth and final tutorial mission. We will do it. 260 tillium, 500 requisition points, and torpedo blueprint unlocked. Now, one thing here is every planet, not every planet, but some planets have a bonus. So supply costs and t plus 20% tillium. So we have 48% tillium here. The intelligence panel, which I think will be reviewed in more detail later, um, tells us where we're anchored and the bonus that we get to our Daedalus fleet, as well as, so here you can see plus 48. Every planet contributes, right? as long as they are part of the, I guess, colonial agreement or coalition. They can and they will defect, so we'll lose their income. So income is Tillium, which we we need to build ships. Now one thing I want to do, oops, do real quick here, is repair the fleet. And let's see officer-wise. We can't do officers. I think that's the next mission. Uh, let's see, three turns, rush, we don't have enough to rush, so Detected we're going to end Cylon turn, fleet, sir. and they actually attacked us, which they can do. So we will repel their attack, wait two more turns to complete our two ships. Now we don't have any intel, we don't know where they're jumping in. I'm going to set this a little further back, and what I'm going to do here is actually change out our munitions a little bit and I'm gonna bring two Viper Mark 1's in case they have a fighter escort alright so they have four people incoming so say we all understood That turret is on the bottom, so we're going to want a higher elevation. Yes, sir. I'm trying to stay close to the Daedalus, and let's launch Understood. those squadrons. Alright, so they have four, we have three ships, but we do have the Daedalus. It does have a not so great turret. So, you know, what we can do is we're going to. Use it as a tank a little bit. Uh, this could end in disaster, guys. Um, so say we all. The fact that they have four is a little worrisome. But we do have two vipers. Alright, so what we're going to do here is swing around. Let's think about this. Still want any missiles to hit? Missiles on their way. We don't want any missiles to hit our own guys. Let's see Hostile if we do this right. Identified. So they're coming out of the front. And now what I would like to see here. Focus fire this guy. Let's see our turret range. Alright, he is gonna enter it. And our Mark Ones are pursuing him. Now what I would like to know 
On it, Commander. Yes, sir. Is who, if any, they're gonna target? We don't know yet, so... He's 29. Which one are you? We're gonna put you two on the defensive. And your rear took a little damage. Fighter squadron so is taking fire! The rear is... Hit, or the bottom is hit. So we are gonna get you down low as yes, fast sir. as possible. And these guys were assigning to Red Squadron. Assigned to Red Squadron. Red Squadron select target. Understood. Yeah, take him out. And let's see this guy. Let's focus fire him. Turrets. Focus fire him. Where are your turrets? Oh, okay, they're out of range. And your job is to get as low as possible. Yeah, make sure that guy's dead. They are hacking the heck out of my guy here. Again, as yes, low as possible. And they took our fire control systems off, so we're gonna try to bring those back online. So say we all. Um, one turn for it. And we're just trying to keep these guys firing on him. His rear is diminished. And let's see. Where Missiles is, incoming! Where is this gonna hit? We want it to hit not the bottom. The right side is fine. Alright, let's start working on this guy. This guy. And Vipers, come on. Take that guy out. Her Vipers are missing. And you can see here we have some very weak defenses on the Daedalus, which is unfortunate, but a fact of life. So we're gonna target this guy. On it, Commander. Yep. And Ooh. <sighs> with their hacking, they've taken navigation offline. The question now is, can we fire guided missiles? Because we sure, yeah, we can. So we fired one missile because that's all we could, were capable of. But that's okay. Uh, we didn't need it. Now we are turning to take on this guy. He's the remaining guy. Our vipers are coming in. So our right side is damaged, but our left side is okay. And I'm just making sure he can't hit us from the bottom, that he'll hit us from the top to the best of our ability. Uh oh, he's starting to hack the next one. Now we've injured his top, so we want to make sure that we are as high as possible. One turn remaining. On it, Commander. So we are continuing to pound away. He is continuing to hack us. 
So say we all. We do prefer to have our main gun. It is on underneath, so look at that top and the rear. And Understood. fire missiles. And just in case he tries to pull one. Fire control systems offline. So he's hacked us and he's destroyed our fire control systems. So we're going to bring him online. And what we're going to do here is I think this guy. Fire control systems offline. So let us bring those back online. The nemesis or nemesis are a real pain. Now he's trying to attack our other guy, so he can't fire. But luckily, we've taken him out. All right, we're not going to watch the replay of this one. We do want to get to chapter four. So luckily, no damage taken. Ooh, Tartarus, three kills to your name. He is looking pretty good. Now build ships. Let's see. Two turns. Rush 380. Uh, we could rush it, but we're not going to. We're going to repair the fleet. Detected a Cylon escort fleet, sir. End the turn. Let's see. 190. We're going to rush that one, build another one. Now remember, we have to transfer this into our Daedalus fleet. We are just waiting for the Adamant. New Adamant has been deployed. Transfer into the Daedalus fleet, and we are ready to jump. But before we do, I would like to start working on another Berserk. And you know what, guys? We should probably throw Manticore in there. Alright, this is the chapter 4, the final part of the... Um, tutorial. Two, four, five. Uh, they're popping all over the place. We'll see why that matters on Intel in a little bit. They're present, destabilizes planets, and sometimes it can convince them to even defect. Now, I think I mentioned this before. So we want the Manticore is higher because they have their guns there. The Adamant has the better armor. Oops. And this guy has the crappier armor. I don't know where his weapons are. We weren't really able to figure that out. So, here we go. This is our interim jump home because the Dreadus are prepared to jump in three, two, one. The Dreadus or Dreadus, whatever it is that allows us to jump without jumping into planets. Multiple contacts on Dreadus, sir. Records show there hasn't been a Taran presence out here since the war first broke. We can safely assume any Dreadus contacts out there are hostile. Blast us away home, Commander. Yes, ma'am. All right. So let's look at our map. We want to do periodically. We see two contacts. That does not mean that you know additional contacts can and do normally um, pop up. Now, one thing we can do is actually boost thrusters. That impacts our turn radius, but allows us to get out yes, faster. So we're going to keep our adamant so out there. All. We want him to be the tank. So say we all. Him or her, whoever we have. And one thing we want to do here, always a best practice, is deploy our fighter squadrons, which we will do. All right, so it looks like we want you lower, actually. Because it looks like the guns are up here. Um, although, do we have any underneath? I don't see any. Alright, so we do have yes, vipers. Sir. The Adamant has a set of vipers. 
And here we opted to keep vipers, although it would have been nice to pick a raptor in retrospect. So say we all. Now we want these guys just higher up so they can continue to pound away with their gun. Okay, so we do have two here. Alright, that's good to know. Now we're going to assign groups here. It's going to be Red Squadron. I think both are already in Red Squadron because you have a little one. And we're going to send them at those Welcome guys. Target is confirmed. Now these guys, oops, assign group Blue Squadron. Assign group Blue Squadron. Blue Squadron, defend our adamant. Alright, so we are done boosting. We're going to maximize our defense. So say we Keep all. it up. Keep it out in front. So there, it is the first thing seen. And here, we will yes, sir. kinda catch you up. We don't want you to get caught off guard. Now the reason I'm waiting to send the fighters at these guys is because we want our group 1 fighters who are coming in here to really catch up. So the fighters are kind of hit the same time. So the group 2 fighters go ahead. Now we're sticking our adamant in harm's way. We are bringing these guys up a yes, little sir. bit. And this guy yes, is going to come up a little bit more. Now we're going to take damage from both sides. Fighter can, squadron is taking fire. You can see we had a nice salvo. Alright. Yes, sir. We're going to pull you guys back. Because Understood. we really want the Ottoman to yes, take Commander. the damage. But you, we're going to start turning this way. So when you see him, you can start blasting Hostile him. Hostile unit identified. Alright, so who's taking damage? Let's see. Our fighter squadron? Okay. Yep. There Commander, we go. multiple new Dreadus contacts. It appears someone really doesn't want us leaving Helios Alpha. Hmm. <laughs> Thanks, Peanut Gallery. Alright, so they are behind us to our left. So, what we're gonna do here. <laughs> What we're going to do here is work on focusing firing focus firing down this talon. The way we're going to do that is fire a bunch of missiles and make sure Missiles on their way. That. We are focusing firing it. Understood. And there we go. Bunch of missiles. Should do it. Now we're going to send some missiles here. Since we're hoping these four can really put a dent in it. So now we have to see. It looks like. They're firing on our berserk. IFF confirms unit is hostile. And that was probably overkill. Kill. All right, so our front has taken a beating. We're gonna show our left side, and what we're gonna do here. Yes, commander. So who's who's? So Daedalus is fine. Our left side. Has taken a hit on the adamant. The berserk front has taken a hit and is about to take more hits. These guys. So, what we're gonna do here is move everybody around to focus fire on that guy. So, who are you gonna focus on? Not him, not him. We have enough.
enough of those guys. So what's the rear look like? 35. Oh, so actually, these missiles... are about to hit the rear. And the adamant is... Alright, so his right set is 55. Missiles incoming! Whoa, okay, so they missed. Now, these guys look to be guided. And these guys can on it, Commander. Kind of come in here. Yes, sir. They are attacking Daedalus. Berserk is taking damage. Now we are focusing fire at the Berserk front, rear. Okay, good. Now what we're going to do here is turn. And yes, sir. The yes, Berserk commander. on the right side does have armor, but it has taken some damage. Now let's select a target. Nemesis, Nemesis. Where are you, these guys? Go harass that guy. Alright, make sure our ships don't. Uh, it is trying to attack our nemesis. The right side has some armor. And what we want to do here is fire missiles and make sure you fire your missiles and. Yes, sir. You fire your missiles and you're gonna turn around. On it, Commander. You're gonna fire your missiles, but way out at that guy see what happens so he is trying to hack us now we want the missiles so the missiles are all heading at the top and we will have sustained so say we all pursuit yes sir and we will bring the berserk over Now, we're actually going to send you to the other Understood. one. Understood. How is this? So this one, how is this one doing? This one's almost dead. This one is not almost dead. So Daedalus is taking some damage. Now that was risky, so when I sent those missiles out, luckily they did not hit the Daedalus, which they very well could have. We are going to... Yes, Commander. Boost... Over. On it, Commander. And... You guys are slower, but that's okay. Alright, so we're gonna continue boosting. We did not boost these guys, but we want them kind of together. Understood. Boost. Yes, Commander. And again, so what? 
The right side has 26. The top has 28. So it looks like he fired. Missiles incoming. Missiles, which impacted the right side. Which luckily we have some armor. So it looks like he's being a jerk and trying to take us out from long range. All right, it does look like though we can. Yes, sir. Run him down. And if he wants to shoot missiles at us, we'll be sure to return the vapor. I'm not going to use the Adamant's missiles because I don't want them Understood. to impact our Daedalus shipyard. So here we are shooting. We can only shoot two because of the range, which is important to note. Um, I think we can take off boosters and go full attack. I'm gonna take off boosters and go full attack. I'm gonna take off boosters and go full attack. Because if they can. And there we go. Four vipers did we more, are more than enough. Gamma, sir. I'll sleep better when I can see the Ragnar clouds again. I don't think I've had more than four hours of rack time since Pi gone. We aren't safe yet. I want the Daedalus in Helios Gamma before we're attacked again. Yes, Admiral. FTL drives our spooling. Commander, we'll jump on your word. And there we have it, guys. That is chapter four. Thank you for what watching and playing. What happened at Picon and Caprica is unacceptable. If we're to get a handle on this war, we need offensive forces out there actively repelling these Cylon incursions. Commander, small strike groups may suffice for scouting, but to defend the colonies, we require full capital fleet groups led by officers of Colonial Fleet. All right, Allied. We're going to take two more minutes here to review I officers. I recommend you recruit experienced officers to provide strategic oversight to our fleets. Sir, one of McKenley's officers survived the attack on Pycon. We could recruit them to help aboard Daedalus. Once an officer has been recruited, they need to be assigned to the fleet group they will oversee. This officer is experienced enough to be promoted. Hand them their new badge, Commander. So when we promote... As they become more experienced, officers can choose to focus on fleet-wide tactics or bolster the strength of their personal flagship. So we're going to go with fleet points so we can have more larger ships in our fleet. Now, um, here the sky has CIC subsystem strength. He has indomitable plus XP gain. That's nice. We will capture that in the next one the so he levels up faster. The fleet officer at a colony will encourage the local government to pay their Tilium stipend. We didn't create the articles just to have them ignored. And the intelligence. A fortified colony will steadily improve its quorum rating and will be less likely to leave the 12 colonies alliance. Steadfast and fortified col colonies provide more Tilium to colonial fleet. So this guy's steadfast. Caprica is plus 48 but it's going down there's heavy Cylon presence over there in Helios Alpha. Now we have to head to Helios Gamma because Kane wants us to. You can see here they're concerned we don't have a steadfast item there. So we will be heading that way. This is really important because as colonies defect um, due to Cylon presence or, or other factors, uh, we will want to send build and send fleets to different areas to secure it and make sure we have that Tillian coming in. Commander. It is your job to keep the Daedalus well resourced and the 12 colonies defended. I have other business to attend to. Lieutenant Agathon will brief you when I have further commands. All right. So while Idris remains compromised, so it's Idris, then we have Dreadus, which is the media when Idris is the jump FTL piece, uh, is compromised. Travel between Helio system is limited. Systems are limited. So if you can see here, if we want to, well, we have to then turn. Use Helena's Starlink coordinates to stage your fleet movements while engaging missions and defending the 12 colonies. All right, we can do that. So we're going to end the New turn. New adamant has been deployed. 
and we have another adamant which is fantastic we also have a, another manticore alright uh, real quick before we end there are different missions so here we have We've been tracking this Cylon strike force for a while now no civilians are present so maximum force is encouraged this is a random side mission where we can get Tillium and requisition points they will pop up this five means we have five turns to get there and engage in the battle alright thanks for watching appreciate a thumbs up and a subscribe and post I'm still learning this game but I'm always open to improvement so if you guys have recommendations please let me know catch you in the next one thanks for watching